or you can use like plus gas, like the best pump gas you can get at the time. Don't use cheap gas. Yep. All your shot colors have adjustments on top of each. We leave them set with the battery. Don't be afraid to play with them. Adjust your settings. Um, if you don't like them, two or something. They leave them at medium. Yeah. Uh, you can also get a spanner wrench. I don't know if the kit comes with yeah, them. Yeah, there's one. You can fine tune your suspension. Uh, you could get aftermarket tender springs. There's tons of stuff you could do just for your suspension alone. Mm -hmm. But the way you guys ride, you're gonna be doing some cushy road riding. Yeah, that's <laughs> about all we're gonna do. <laughs> your battery, everybody always asks your battery is behind the passenger seat. It does not come with a cover. For some reason, through the manufacturers, they don't give you a cover for your battery. They do make them aftermarket like, and stuff like that, but they don't okay. come with a cover. Will you put it right in the trailer then, or do I drive it up? This is the key they give you. They are chipped. Okay. Nice simple key. Pops right on. Start it. Put a foot on the brake. All your display up here tells you everything about your machine. That's how many miles it has on. That's what gear you're in. There's your temperature, RPMs, miles per hour. If you're not wearing your seatbelt, it's extremely limited on speed. It'll hit like 13 and feels like you're running out of gas or something. Okay. Fuel gauge, there's where you're at with your differential lock. You've got two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, front diff lock, and that locks it all in, as you can see on the display. Don't ride around with it like that all the time because that's how you do premature failure on your differential. Okay. You've got trail mode and active mode. That changes the way your throttle responds. This override button, people don't realize what that is for. These are governed in reverse to 13 miles an hour. Say you get stuck in reverse and you have to power your way out when you put it in reverse, you click the override button, it takes the governor off. Okay. Uh, different drive modes, eco mode, that knocks your power down to 70%. I hate the term eco mode because you're not buying this to save the planet, it's not a Prius. What eco mode does to where it'll help you is if you're having problems hill climbing because you got too much torque and too much wheel spin, you kick on eco mode, it knocks your power down so you can climb up stuff a lot better. Okay. Sport mode, that's just all out performance. Keep it in eco mode. All you do is you tap the button and it changes the modes. It tells you even up here, sport, eco. eco so there's mode. two different modes, sport yep. and eco. Okay. Here's your menu. This tells you everything about the machine. It tells you how long it was driven at this speed for. There's a lot to get into with that. DPS minimum. DPS medium, DPS max. The faster you're going, the less power steering you want. When you're road riding, have your power steering at minimum because if you have it set too high, that's when you oversteer and over rotate. The slower you're going, the better. Anytime you're doing pushing, pulling, climbing, anything that's going to be putting the machine under any kind of stress, if you're riding around under 25 miles an hour, low gear. Low gear. That's going to help your belt life. Drop your bracket up or down, that'll change the pitch of your seat. Okay. Um, for our area, I think, they and they, these come in almost all the way set up. All they do is put the seats and put the roll cage on. I think, honestly, for our riding, for our area, you'd be better off dropping it down, because then your seat would be more upright. Right now, you're sitting back, you're pitched in it, like you're actually riding in the machine where the players are riding on it. Right. So that's a huge difference. So it's a big difference of visibility. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing I am going to recommend is you are going to want to get more mirrors, possibly mm -hmm. a backup camera, possibly a front. I mean, you guys aren't aggressive rock colors or anything, are you? No, no. I was going to say, if you do like a lot of riding like that, like a lot of steep hills, it's going to be a little easier. Right. Okay. So what was the trail in the other? Um, it depends on how you want it, how so you want it to perform. You have a drain plug on your belt cover. On the Polaris, it's nice and red. It's easy to see. If you ever do submerge this, pop that out, ride around with it in low gear for a little bit, give it time to drain. Also, here's your air filter. There's a drain on the bottom of that as well, right there. Just pop that right off. <laughs> I will say that is one thing that sucks. The lack of heat in the windshield. There's 50 different ways trying to figure out how to 
to get it out because everybody at all the doorways is blocked. We own the whole building. You're seeing all the overhead doors all the way through. Uh -huh. Everything that's up in front of me. <laughs> what do you want, want me to bring it back to? I'll meet you out here because I got to pull back in the. Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm.